what's going on guys welcome back to another video i hope you guys are having an amazing day today i'm going to be talking about how i might be able to make 500 dollars every single day in this public portfolio because since we started this public portfolio we have grown so much it has been almost three months three months and a half and i've been making video about it every single day how we're growing and now i want to share that with you and we've been consistently making at least 500 dollars a day on average sometimes 400 sometimes a thousand but on average between four to five hundred dollars a day in the past three to four months so i just want to share that with you with that let's get started uh, welcome everyone thank you for taking time from your busy schedule and watching this video if you are here for the first time please do not forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel it will help our channel grow big time and on top of that more people come to this channel and see what we're trying to do it actually motivates new investors they can learn from our success our mistake make a better judgment and decision and we make videos every single day and you don't miss out great contents that we post on a daily basis about different companies first and foremost i want to make it very clear with you what i am trying to accomplish in this public portfolio i have my personal private account different accounts but this one is specifically made for youtube so you guys can see what type of moves that I've been making instead of just talking and recommending buy this stock, buy that stock. I personally put myself in that position where I buy shares and share that with you. So if I lose money, I'm going to lose money too. But if I just share that, oh, this stock is amazing, buy it, you're going to make a lot of money. And behind the screen, I'm not making any type of move. That won't be fair. Not only talk the talk, but also walk the walk with you guys. So our main focus is to achieve that $100,000, reach that in over one year. But it looks like we're going to get there way, way sooner than that. Maybe in six months, even less than that, because we are growing in a very faster pace. If you see today, we have gained $1,759. That is a 2.8% growth. Every day is not like that. Every day, don't make $1,700, $1,800. Some days, you lose money. There are days that I lose $3,000, $4,000. But am I sad? No. I'm actually excited because always gave me a very good buying opportunity. Before I purchase any stock, I do a very good and profound research. So every time when the market dips, instead of worrying, I will make that decision of buying more shares. A lot of times new investors get worried and liquidate their assets and eventually they're going to lose money. But if you do really good research about a company, if you know what that company does, how they make money, where they're heading, you're not going to be worried. So in the last one week, we are up by $8,700, which is around $1,000 per day. In the last one month, we're up by $19,558. If you do the math, this is around $6,700 per day. In the last three months, we are up by $36,321. This is around $400 per day. If you divide this by 90 days, it will give you an average $400, even a little bit more than that. Since we started, we have gained around $36,376, 129% gain. We started this account in November at the same time when we started this YouTube channel because it was specifically designed to this YouTube channel. So every time I purchase, I make a video about it so people can see and learn, okay, this is how he plays the stock. This is why he bought this stock and we can be on the same page at the beginning i was highly focused on options trading at the beginning of november that's why i lost pretty much four or five thousand dollars i was at negative four thousand seven hundred eighty four dollars from that we were consistently growing growing and growing and now we are creating that all-time high today february 4th 2021 we are up by thirty six thousand three hundred and seventy one dollars if you put it together that is almost forty thousand dollars since we started this account what is my strategy that actually laid this account to this for some people this might be success for some people this might not be success but personally for me i believe it is a good progress because i have another main account that is actually growing at the same pace but i had that account for almost six seven years and i have different investments specifically some for etf some for long-term investment retirement funds and on top of that i have something that I trade on a daily basis that is actually for my private account and when my public portfolio one is this one on Robinhood I'm sure you guys saw this every single day 
when I make a video about it. And on top of that, I have TD Ameritrade under Creative Minds. And like you guys can see it, we reached $6,097 on this account. I cannot believe it because we started with $300 and consistently growing. So the reason I have this TD Ameritrade is sometimes I make a recommendation to buy some OCT stocks and warrants on SPACs so that the only way you can be able to do it is buying it from this old school big accounts that actually help this account grow big time. So some of our main recommendations, especially for those of you who got the opportunity to saw my previous video, SIRC, you know, Solar Integrated Roofing, it has now gave me 555% gain since we recommended it. I bought it when it was trading at 50 cents and now it's $2.34. Please go back and check my video. I recommended it right there when it was trading at 50 cents. And another one is VGAC. This is an acquisition corporation. I bought warrants here. I added 230 warrants and now we're up by 444% because even though the warrants at that time when I was buying it, it was trading at $1 or something. But now we know at some point this is going to find a merger and grow. Instead of buying 230 shares or Robinhood, I can simply buy the warrants and anytime I can exercise it or sell it depending on where the expiration date is. And the other one is SNPW, Sun Pacific Holding. This one actually, if you remember my video, I talked about Sun Pacific Holding when it was trading at 0, 0.0. 29 I'm already up 149 percent and right here I have 3,000 shares when I make a video about SNPW I bought 10,000 shares for $300 if you go back and see my video that I posted at January 22nd actually has almost 5,000 views a lot of people liked it and people really thanked me because you know they have grown so much at some point I was up by 700 percent that's why I sold my 7,000 shares and kept 3,000 shares in case for the future. And of course, there are other stock like TSPN, Tortoise Enterprise. This actually grown more than 100% as well. TDACW, another warrant. This is something that I'm expecting to grow actually much, much bigger than $3. And Nueve Mondo, I also made a video about it. Please go back and refer that. We're up by 100%. Planet 13 Holdings, right now it is $5.70. When I bought it, it was around $2. That is also more than 100%. And GAXY, this is something that I lost money in. Right now it is at 0 0.026, but I bought it at 0 0.04. And GIK Geek Capital, this is a SPAC. Once the merger is completed, this is going to be something that's going to go to $20, $30 very, very easily because this is merging with eLightning Motors. I'm sure most of you know this company, the very good food company. I am up. This is actually the main reason why this public portfolio is at $6,000 as we speak, because I have made a lot of money on this one and I sold some of it. I kept around two, 300 shares. My cost basis were around $2, $3, and we're up more than 100%. And another one was Federal Home Loan Mortgage. This is something that was suggested by Bill Ackman. I saw it. I purchased it. I didn't do that much research and I got burnt on this one. This is another mistake. I usually make research on it, but I say, okay, let me hear what Bill Ackman said, but I got burnt and I am glad that I only put $100 on it. Even on this warrant account, we actually grown so much, almost by three, 400%. Right here, you cannot be able to see it. It says info, info because I think TD Ameritrade is making some updates. This is not, by the way, an advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing with you what I have been doing. You might hear what I am saying. You might say, oh, this guy's stupid. He don't know what he is doing. He is just making money with luck. Maybe that could be a reason. But I have done this for the last seven years. At the beginning, the first two years it was a learning lesson for me. Few things I learned on my journey is that the first thing is people who are patient in the stock market make the most money if you are not patient enough that is where you're going to lose the most money the second thing is people who are greedy lose the most money the third thing is every time when you purchase company you don't understand that is actually where the problem starts if you have no idea what the company does but you bought it because i recommended it or other youtubers recommended it then you're going to be a big problem and the other one is how well diversified are you? There are a lot of sectors. Are you well diversified among those sectors? Because if you have positioned yourself in those sectors, then you're not going to have a problem. 
some days the tech companies are doing really bad, but the healthcare industry is doing really good. Every day you'll be making money because some sector will do good unless there is certain pandemic or some major crisis that is actually attacking all sectors across the stock market. To be honest with you, when the pandemic kicks in around end of February, beginning of March, I didn't sold most of my shares. I sold around 25%, but luckily enough, it gave me a very good advantage to average down. That's why I put most of my money in, keep averaging down, keep averaging down, keep averaging down. And when I look back, I am so happy because I am glad that I have understood how those companies work. And right now, that actually made me so much money, especially on my main account. These are certain things that I do before I invest in a company. The second thing that I do, you might agree with it, you might not agree with it, but I'm always buying options. I buy options very, very safely. If you are new for options, please first understand how options work because you can lose a lot of money from it. But if you really take advantage of it very carefully, you can make money from it. I know when people talk about options, there were GME, AMC, those are really dangerous options. They have crazy implied volatility. But sometimes when you get good opportunities such as SPY ETF, this is actually a very good option that to make money consistently. Every time when it dips, it gives us that opportunity either to buy the shares or to buy the options and make money because it recovers really quickly. I've been consistently doing that with the SPY and it has very low implied volatility. You might say that, okay, you've been lucky and you got that opportunity. No, it's not luck. Let's go back and start to see from November. The last 90 days to 120 days november was trading at 362 dollars you could buy options when it dipped to 255 and it goes back to 263 every time it creates another all-time high it dips you know it gives us good chance it was at 370 at the beginning of december and it dipped to 366 even at some point at 364 and it bounced back to 372 and again it dipped 367 and rally up a little bit and dipped 368 and up to 381 and dipped 375 and up to 382 and dipped massively to 370 and now it is at 385 dollars i am not putting a lot of money when it comes to options but five to ten percent of my portfolio is always in different options on january 29th spy was at 370 dollars per share Right there, I know it's going to recover. I bought one contract at $500 and I bought another contract at $399. Both options have different strike prices and they were going to expire on the 24th of February. That's why they were a little bit expensive at $500 and $399. And right after that, I sold one of them at for $700 and the other one at $836. So in two days, on the first one, I made $336. And the other one, I made around $307. So for a very small account like this, that is a very good gig. Did I took a lot of risk? To be honest with you, I did it. Because I know SPY ETF has consistently creating higher highs and higher lows. Even if it deep, I have an opportunity to be able to average down since the expiration date is going to be in the next one month. I'm not going to buy options that is going to be expired in one week or two weeks, at least one month or two months. It is risky. I know that. But most of the time, people lose a lot of money because of greed. I am not greedy when it comes to option. If it gives me a good return, even 50%, 40% return, I sell it right there. I don't care if I make the most out of it. Because you never know what is going to be happening tomorrow. When you have a very good opportunity today at your hands, why don't you make money out of it? I know if I waited till today, I might be making a little bit more money because it has increased more in value. But at the same time, it has decayed more in time. And I have done this again and again consistently. I started buying spy options on November when this account is created. And I keep buying and I keep selling. If it works, why not make the most out of it? Why change your strategy? And one thing that I want to show you with the spy ETF is that it has 16% implied volatility. Isn't that amazing? You know, when the implied volatility is 300, 400, then you should be running away from that options. You know, and the delta is really good and it has a very low theta that is also good. This is a time decay. Implied volatility is the most important thing when I buy options. Of course, I see the volume, how many people are buying and selling it. 
and also open interest how many people are holding that options as we speak the more open interest it has the better it is a couple of things that i want to share with you when i purchase options because that is the most riskiest one i usually come to bar chart and see options activities and i see some of the most option activities usually it is apple and right now there is amc and there is gme almost 71 percent puts and here you can be able to see the option you're about to purchase how active it is what strike price is the most targeted one thing that is very useful is unusual options activity right now for example there is agen qualcomm bbby all this have crazy options activity what is the reason behind it is there a catalyst coming up is earnings coming up is it a call option is it a put options what other analysts think about these options by doing that you'll be in much safer ground and you can come and do the same research for etfs spy is the most active the most traded etf and i have personally made ton of money with the spy sometimes you gotta see you know, what percentage is cold what percentage is put and if everybody's saying put and if i go ahead and put a call i might be right but most of the time i'm gonna lose money it's always good to see the put versus call ratio so you can be able to make a very good decision for example right here if i come to spy that is going to be expiring tomorrow february 5th you can see the put volume is 878,000 and the call volume is 464,000. and overall it has more put volume than call volume i do not blame it because spy is trading at all-time highs right now at 385 dollars that's why most people are buying puts because they think it's gonna go down but when it goes down again you guys can come back and buy the dip so you can be able to make money out of it and the other one that i use is lucid tracking of course if you are a fan of arc invest this is where you can be able to come and see what type of purchases she's been doing. For example, today she bought A, she bought Beam, she bought Baidu, she bought DocuSign. She purchased all this on RK, on RQ, she purchased Apple, Amazon, on ArcW, she purchased Apple, Adobe. If you have the premium account, of course, you can see on ArcG and ArcF, you can be able to see all her ETFs. It won't be necessary to have a premium account as long as you can get subscribed to their channel. And they send me notification when they purchased any new stocks and the other website that i use is finviz financial visualization i had to do a very deep tutorial on these websites that i use but quickly to go over finviz it has a lot of different filters you know you can pretty much select exchanges what kind of index ipo date average volume dividend yield sectors you know float shorts if it is a penny stock that you want you know this screener will filter out for you okay this penny stock has a lot of volume you can start to do more research do they have any product on the pipeline do they have any catalyst coming up what is their institutional ownership and you can learn about the insiders for example robin howard president and ceo for february 3rd he exercised options eight dollar eighty cents he bought hundred and fifty thousand shares pretty much he put 1.3 million now you are curious and you're gonna go and see what is nktr and you start to learn more about this company you can see the pattern and you're gonna say okay this is what the daily pattern looks like how is it the weekly what is the all-time high oh the whole time high was 68 dollars right now it is at 20 dollars and 60 cents so then you can start to learn about different companies something that you haven't expected you don't only use youtube as your prime source of education in my investment journey i have never depended only on one sector in the other strategy that i have is for example let's talk about open door technologies right now it is trading at 28 dollars 60 so this is a company that i really know how it works how it operates so i purchased option on this one some people commented when i say that i purchased options why did you do that that is a stupid move but i know how open door technologies work i have used it in the past and i have been invested in open door technologies for quite some time now in my public account private account and my average cost basis for this public portfolio is 24 dollars it's not that low but on my main account i bought it when it was a spake and uh, behind the spake there is shamat polyhapatia and on top of that kathy wood admires this stock i'm i know she have a reason you know we all believe this is something very disruptive for the real estate industry if you see the stock the past three months at some point it was at 31 dollars it dipped at $22, went $28. Consistently have this type of pattern. 
but overall it is creating higher highs and higher lows and it is growing that is a good thing which is the direction of this stock overall is in our favor if it was consistently creating lower lows and lower highs then i would not buy any options with it because that would be a recipe for disaster so i can show you some of the moves that i did i purchased five contracts the first time when i bought it i bought two contracts for four hundred dollars and i added another two contracts for four hundred and six dollars and it dipped and i added one more contract for 150 dollars so pretty much i purchased this five contracts for 400 plus 400 that is 800 dollars plus 150 it is 950 dollars for this five contracts so on february 2nd i sold two options for 460 dollars and on february 3rd i sold three options for 900 if you add this two that is around 1360 dollars so pretty much i made 400 to 500 dollars this week only by trading open technology options don't be greedy when it comes to options if you make a profit take your profit and run because tomorrow is another day you're gonna play another options again make a little bit of profit that is actually gonna grow your account consistently because you you not you don't only have open door technology you have different options that you can be able to make money from and the other one is hims and hers and this one specifically i talked about it Ark Invest would buy into it. Actually, I am the first guy who said Ark Invest buying into it before Ark Invest bought into him and hers way back. And I purchased it at $15.44. I have 120 shares. I'm up by 46%, which is at $864. We know him and hers is something that is very unique and disruptive for the healthcare industry. That is a $4 trillion industry. And I know this is something that's going to go up. Because if you have seen the chart, it dipped at some point at January 27, it dipped to $13. That actually gave us a very good buying opportunity. I have never seen him and Ers drop below $17. This happened because when the merger completed, people who doesn't know how him and Ers work want to take their profit and run away. At the specific moment, that is where I start to purchase options. If you see, this is January 27th, and I went there and start purchasing my options. In January 25th, I bought some shares and I added one contract at $125 and also added another 40 shares and I bought another contract for $145. This is on January 26 and I added one more contract under $35 at January 27th. Right after that, it's time for me to shine. I sold three contracts for $765. That is actually a very good profit. If you really do the math, I made around three $400 right here. In the 50 shares that I bought, I was swing trading it. I sold it for $819. I purchased it at $13 and I sold it almost around $19, $18. I also sold two more options for $460 and another 30 shares for $474. And on February 1st, I sold another contract for $650. So if you do the math, only from him and hers, at least there is about $800 to $900 gain. Because if you see on January 27th, it was at $13. On February 1st, it was at $21. That is actually a very good profit for me to make at least six, seven, eight hundred dollars $800. So this happened this week too. So I do this every single week and I make a video about it. And you guys can see and say, okay, then this might be a good move, a bad move. And that's why I specifically share these videos with you. And another one is AMC. I purchased some options. This is actually one of the most riskiest option i purchased the reason i purchased it is because there was a lot of hype and i took the measure that i'm gonna buy it earlier before anybody buys it and i bought one contract for 161 dollars this happened actually on january 25 everybody was talking about jme at that time if you guys go back and see my video when i purchased these options i specifically recommended it there was unusual options activity around amc a lot of momentum coming this is a time to purchase amc options even though the implied volatility was four or five hundred i took a risk but with small percentage of my portfolio another options added on january 25th for 163 dollars and another options added for 125 dollars on january 25th so i have three contracts and i want to show you for how much i sold it for on january 27th amc popped Earlier what I said, this is two days. People were talking AMC is going to go to $100, $50. But here am I. Right here, if you see, I am here sitting on AMC. 
in one contract is trading at a thousand dollar i've added 135 dollar should i sell it or should i wait i am gonna sell it when it comes to option greed is something that's gonna kill you check it out one options a thousand dollar i made around 900 dollar here and another option for a thousand hundred and fifty dollar i made another one thousand dollar here and i said okay let me wait and see what other people do guess what happened i sold one more contract for 295 dollars you see what happened with greed i could have sold that for a thousand dollar and made another 700 dollars but i waited and i proved myself right again the more i became greedy the more money i'm gonna lose this is the mindset i have when it comes to options it could be a call option put option sprayed it doesn't really matter as long as you really know what the company does and if you have previously invested in that company you can be able to tell from its patterns for example in the past i have been sharing this with you as a swing trader it is a very good opportunity to trade the swing for switchback energy because making the same exact trend it creates all time high it dips 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 even the newest investor can see this pattern that is one way that i become profitable and the other one is if you see my buying power right here is it is at twenty two thousand eight hundred and ninety three dollars i know i put half of my buying power right here and half of my buying power in other specs i always do that and some people think i am so stupid for doing that but i have been rewarded massively for example i want to share some of the spec that i just placed my money there because the reason i want to do that is instead of the money sitting here and just warming my account till i find another good growth stock i can simply place it on a spec because anytime when it's find merger boom you make a very good return on your investment for example let me show you tdac my average cost was twelve dollar and seventeen cents and i put one thousand two hundred dollars there i don't have any goal investing on tdac when i was putting that one thousand two hundred dollars but right now it is at fourteen dollar and sixty nine cents and now i have gained twenty percent on my money i'm thinking i'm gonna hold tdac for a long term because they are merging with a very good company lottery.com maybe this fourteen dollar can go to twenty dollars because lottery.com once the merge is completed we know that's going to be something booming but in other occasions this might not be the case the company might create merger but you might not like the company they merge with but the stock price eventually pops up gives you five percent ten percent fifteen percent on the money that you put in then you can take out your money and go to the next pick if you don't have a money that is sitting on side or on your bank or your saving account then you don't need to do this but if you have money and you don't use it for anything then i rather put it on a spec i know there could be a risk because most specs have that benchmark price around ten dollars let's say tdac didn't find a merger i'm gonna be losing two dollar and seventeen cents per share so if you are new investors if you don't have that strong risk tolerance see if you can get a good deal on different specs that are really close to ten dollars then you're not gonna be losing as much money maybe ten cents twenty five cents but the reward is much much higher than the risk at the end of the day any company you invest in has a risk either ways this actually has much lower risk for example if i show you cciv a lot of people are talking about cciv is going to be merging with lucid i personally have 170 shares at 17 dollars and i'm up by 2400 is this a risky investment very risky investment what if the merger doesn't go through what if it stays in the limbo what if this is just a rumor you know people are investing to this spec because of bloomberg's credibility maybe i might get a chance to get out before it drops all the way to ten dollars because i purchased it at seventeen dollars but if the merger completed trust me guys this thirty dollars is gonna go to fifty dollars even more than that because a lot of people are waiting for that ev company in the united states I made a very good video about it. If you go back and see my post, a $15 billion company that can potentially merge CCIV, a spec. At that time, Churchill Capital was at $14 right here. If you see on January 12th, the rumor is true, then I know I will be making a ton of money. But when it comes to a spec like this, you have to be very, very careful because the money you're going to be losing is going to be $7 per share. We know that the benchmark price is $10 and i bought it for 17 dollars so seven dollar per shares can go like that if you don't have that much of risk tolerance do not jump into this one 
but there are other specs that I purchased that are actually very close to their benchmark price. For example, if you see Burgundy Technology right now is trading at $10.96, my average price is $11.10. I already put too much money on this one for 200 shares. That is 2,219. I can take out this money and start to invest in it in different company, but right now it hasn't gave me that much return. I'm actually down by 1%. But in my personal opinion, I know Burgundy Technologies is going to find a very good company to merge with. And we're going to come back and talk about it. We now have at least 15 to 20% gain on the money that I put on Burgundy Technology. If something works for you, why is it a stupid move? Why do we need other people's acknowledgement? What you're doing is right. Or I should copy what he is doing. We cannot script anybody's success. We can create our own success. That is actually what really matters the most check out this one bft i have three thousand dollars there i'm already up by 599 dollars likely enough bft is going to be merging with paysafe i have 170 shares this is going to go to 25 dollars 30 dollars because paysafe is not a small company it's actually a very strong competition for paypal and square once this merger is completed 100 percent another one if you see cla i have another 200 share they already find a good merger in the lighter industry and I'm up 4.53%. Once Colonnade complete the merger, this simply is going to go to $18, even $20. Because LiDAR, we know it is a very hot sector when it comes to autonomous driving. A lot of vehicle needed. Tesla might not agree with it, but there are a lot of companies who want to use that technology to make autonomous driving a reality. Even in the Space Force, even in other companies in the AI industry, LiDAR is very, very important. You know, I made a video about how LiDAR technology works. Please go back and watch the video so you can really learn what LiDAR is, how important it is. And CLA is going to be merging with one of the top LiDAR companies. And the third one is 3 to 5% of my portfolio is on penny stocks. I know most long-term investors might not agree to this, might not promote it on their channel, but I don't really care. It is working for me and I'm happy with it. One of the company I want to highlight here is Zomedica because it hasn't increased in price that much. Right now, it is trading at $1.47. Of course, I made a video about Zomedica again and again. People who got the opportunity to buy into it when it was trading at 0 0.4. Congratulations. And I purchased 1,600 shares for $0.90 cents per share. Right now, we are up by $904. I personally have done a lot of research on this. This is a company that actually have a very good product on the pipeline that could potentially be commercialized by the end of March. Right now, it's the beginning of February. We have at least two months. So you might think two months is too far for you to be able to purchase and wait for that to happen. But trust me, it is not. Because the upside potential for Zomedica is so much. My price target for Zomedica is at least $3 to $5. Because it will revolutionize how pets are treated and it has a huge market demand if the approval comes through. This is another investment strategy, to be honest with you. I have seen it big companies like BlackRock, Vanguard put a small section of their investment in a penny stock and a biopharmaceutical stock that actually have a potential approval or that are very close to their FDA approval stage. I'd rather buy a penny stock and wait three, four, five, six months and take out my profit once the approval is completed then buy the penny stock when everybody talks about it on youtube and people are saying man buy this buy that buy this and you buy into the hype and when you see yourself you actually bought into all-time high and you're the last person who's gonna get burnt i know that people will buy into zomedica when this is gonna be trading at three dollar four dollar that is why zomedica is gonna reach three dollar four dollar because there are people who wait for that approval good news catalyst and buy into it and they're gonna get stuck because maybe they don't know how the company works or what type of product they have in the pipeline for example let's go back ncbngo i was one of the guys who invested in bngo when it was trading at one dollar i know they do gin 80 thing and they have such an outstanding result and i sold most of my shares you might say why did you do that to be honest with you i don't have a lot of expertise when it comes to this field I can buy it, I can invest in it in the long term, but let's say that it dipped, let's say that something happened around it. I might not average down. I might be scared. 
because I don't really know how the company works. I know it is disruptive. It can cure a lot of diseases if they succeeded. I found an exit price around $8, $9, and I sold the 100 shares that I have. I am a fan of genomic revolution. Since I don't have the knowledge and the deep understanding how this works, I cannot be able to purchase option with it, or I cannot be able to invest in it in the long term. I know I can do more and more research, maybe buy into it, but I decided to purchase an ETF in a state. ETF that is run by someone whom I really believe in. Not only she have invested in a lot of biotech companies, but also she have employees that are expert in this specific field who can be able to choose the right stocks for her. So it is okay for me to invest in this ETF. Much safer, less return. And I didn't buy a lot of shares, only 30 shares for $3,200. I'm up by 14%. I know this is not growing aggressively as other stocks that I have. This is actually one of my safe grounds. When I do research and invest in a company in the long term, of course, there are other things that I do. Some of them are tangible and some of them are intangible reasons. You know, earlier when I say, use your common sense, that might not be tangible reason. That might be intangible reason. And it is very useful when you invest. And of course, there are tangible things like PE ratio. What is their balance sheet? How is their institutional holdings? What is their projected growth? What type of growth potential they have? How long have they been in the business? Do they have a proven track record? All this thing has to line up. More than 50% of my investment, of course, it is in the sector. But the remaining 50%, it actually includes all different type of things. Companies that I know, penny stocks, options. It has to be very diverse. At the end of the day, my goal is to take this public portfolio as fast as I can to $100,000 without harming it. Two things that I'm going to recommend again. One is patience. is very important. There is a saying, patience is a virtue. The second one is greed. Greed is the most dangerous thing. It actually plays with your emotion. And sometimes you buy into a stock because of fear of missing out. And you don't sell a stock because of greed. So you're going to be burnt twice. If you don't put emotions aside and make value-based decisions, then eventually it's going to come back and hurt you. I hope you guys watched all this video maybe by sharing my expertise and experience with you. Maybe this will help you make a better decision or help you make that $500 a day. Please leave in the comment section what you have learned from the video today. That would be very helpful and I would really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching. With that, I will see you on my next video.